morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Westby, Ken Manning, Western Wisconsin Video Productions, as we're ready to bring you some high school wrestling. It's the Westby Duels here in the Westby Fieldhouse. Well, it's uh, a little bit different this year, we'll say it that way. We uh, only have four teams, so it's going to be a round robin, uh, as it always has been, for that matter. But uh, the round robin will feature... Uh, in match number one, Westby and Nakusa. Meanwhile, it will be Belmont Platteville and Brookwood. They'll be on the other mat. Running one camera today, so we are going to concentrate uh, solely on the Westby Norseman. And, uh, and then if we finish with that match, we will swing over to the other mat and follow that to its conclusion so we can kind of keep everybody on top of what's going on here today. So... Uh, bear with us on some of that, but uh, that's how we're going to run things today here uh, with the feature uh, with the Norsemen. And again, as I mentioned, they are going to be taking on Nakusa, Nakusa Assumption here today. And our first match, it will feature Kylie Klum. And uh, we'll take a look here and let's see who Kylie is going to be wrestling. Try to listen in a little bit here as well. Thanks to all those sponsors are going to be, uh, we'll try to do a quick hit with them throughout the day. Roger Harris doing the PA once again. Amaya uh, Leverance here for Nakusa, and now we're ready to get things going. Nice to have uh, track wrestling. We got the dashboard, so hopefully we can <laughs> keep track of uh, for sure who is out there on the mat. Belmont Platteville will receive a forfeit at 106 pounds on their side versus. Brookwood, here is Clum. She's going to pick up a takedown as they go out of bounds. They'll come back to the center of the mat. And a 2 nothing lead here for Clum of Westby. Well, the mention uh, of our sponsors here throughout the day, and we'll try to get as many of them as possible. Looks like we're going to get an escape here for Leverance, for Nakusa. That'll close the gap, 2-1. As both wrestlers will work on their feet. This is uh, one of the first, in fact, this is the first time that we're actually going to be doing uh, these matches live here, uh, of course, on Channel 7, Channel 14, and on the Twitch channel, my Twitch channel. So thanks again for anybody that's out there on board. Appreciate that. The... Uh, it passed, it's been, we've been down by the head scorer's table and just doing a tape delayed, but in this situation, it's just going to be that much better for us with the, with the dashboard. There's a nice single leg dump by Klum to pick up the takedown, and she extends her lead at 4-1 now. But yeah, it's, uh, it, it's, we're able to keep up with things. Uh, at least as long as the dashboard stays up and running. <laughs> Here's a couple of points here. Now a trying to get a body lock, couldn't quite get it. Leverance able to get back to her base, but a two near fall for Clum, and she's out in front 6-1. Clum working a half Nelson, and that is going to be the end of period number one. Joyce goes to Clum. She says, I'll defer and wait until period number two, or three, excuse me, as we go to period number two. Leverance says, I'll take top. Both wrestlers, again, working uh, on that head. Clum kind of breaking away just a touch here, uh, keeping a distance there, but has control of a wrist. Trying to get a baseball tie. And now she'll close the gap a little bit here. 
reaching down, trying to get that right leg just behind the knee, and they will scoot out of bounds, and a warning stalling here on Klum. They'll get a fresh start here as they went out of bounds. Coming up next, Jaden Geyer for the Norseman, I would imagine, sophomore. Both wrestlers here locking up over under situation. In this case, they're a little duck under try by Klum, but Leverance is able to fight that off and regain head position here. Both wrestlers now forehead to forehead. A little bit of an underhook series, but Klum drops down to a leg as Leverance went for that underhook, and now they're nearing the uh, bounds, and they do slip out of the boundary, so they'll come back to the center of the mat. Once again, both wrestlers on their feet with 48 seconds remaining here in period number two. Klum going in, trying to get a double leg here. Got to get those hips in, but a lot of pressure from Leverance. Amia doing a good job fighting that off, but now Klum gets a little deeper in on the shot, and there's the takedown. Eight, one year score. Klum trying to work head lever. Okay. Now the time will run out here. We'll go to period number three. Now well, we got a little bit of a bloody nose here by uh, Klum. We'll come back over here on the other man. Let's take a look here and see what we have going on. Dylan Powell is uh, out in front. He's going to pick up a technical fall. 18 to 1 is your final score here. over the Navy, a, uh, a freshman. Belmont Platteville out in front 12-5 as uh, they are into that 120 pound weight class already. 8-1 score here over on our black mat with Klum. Dylan Powell stepping out onto the mat here for Brookwood and wrestling Austin Cushman, a junior. Meanwhile, we'll come back. We'll move the camera back over as we concentrate on the Norseman. Well, it's going to be a quick uh, snap and a takedown here by Leverance. Klum standing up. Coming back in, and she's going to look for that double leg. Leverance still technically in control here. Klum goes to a single leg. See if she can get that uh, single leg dump going. Head outside series and out of bounds. She's going to get the uh, point for the escape there, though. And a good little hustle there by Klum of Westby. Both wrestlers on their feet. Leverance just picked up a takedown in the beginning of period number three, so we'll see how that works out. <laughs> Under a minute to go now, we're at 55 seconds as the clock ticks away. 9-3 score here as the wrestlers battle on their feet. Klum coming in with that outside uh, single leg. Leverance trying to go with a little bit of a front headlock, but she also is reaching over, uh, trying to get that far leg. See if she can't uh, crunch Klum down to the mat. Klum 
loses a little bit of position here, but still has that right leg of Leverance. Trying to work her way back up, but boy, there's a lot of pressure right there right now. She's in on that knee, and we're going to get a stalemate. Back up on their feet they go with 16 seconds remaining. Back up on the head. Clum drops down. She dropped uh, straight down trying to change that level. And time is going to run out here. And the final score will be 9-3. Clum with the win. And the Norseman will take a 3-0 lead on the team score. Well, congratulations going out there to uh, Kylie Clum. Let's take a look at American Family Insurance, the Miranda Wright Agency, supporting today's broadcast, uh, along with uh, ADRC, Aging and Disability Resource Center of Vernon County, located right there in Viroqua, and the Bank of Cashton helping us out today. Appreciate their terrific support, as well as, uh, and that's, of course, Scott Wall, Bethel Home and Services, Pastor Trevor Scrady, helping to bring you today's action from the West Bee Fieldhouse. Again, thanks to Bethel Home and Services for all the great things that they continue to do. We're gonna move to 113 pounds now. This is gonna be Jaden Geyer taking on Carter Jensen. This should be a heck of a match. Jensen trying to get in underneath, and Geyer goes with a front headlock series. Jensen coming in as a sophomore. No record, his first uh, opportunity apparently to wrestle this year. Maybe coming off a football injury, you never know. Going right into a uh, single leg, and now he's just going to snap him. Scoot around behind is Geyer, and he'll have a 2-0 lead as Jensen looks to sit out. Trying to come up and over and get a reversal. He is very close. Nope, Geyer's going to keep possession. <laughs> that was pretty good. Now maybe a potential chin drop series here by Geyer as Jensen tries to move those hips and get back to the base. No points there on a terrific effort by Jensen. And nice work by Geyer to come around behind. They're going to go out of bounds. Fresh start on the mat. Well, I forgot to, uh, you always worry about, you know, things going to be live or not. And now that I know that we're live, we're going to, we're also trying to get information out to uh, the folks. Pass the word, if you can, that we're up and running. Channel 14, channel 7 and 14. Streaming on uh, my Twitch account. Two nothing to score here, and it's going to be Geyer's choice after uh, Jensen defers. Geyer's going to pick up a couple of points here, and now we're working on that arm. Let's see if he can uh, pick up some more points here. 
out in front for nothing over a pretty tough opponent in uh, Carter Jensen. Doing a pretty good job with the control right now. Working in a half on that right side. Jensen fighting that off. Trying to get that in deeper. Tell you what, he's not that far off from it. He's got to stretch him out a little bit. Jensen regains his base. Now a deep half here by Geyer, and he's going to get the pin. Pin coming at, uh, let's see, it's going to be uh, 322 pin time. 322 pin time. And it's a 9-0 Westby lead here early on. And a couple more of those sponsors, Bobby Johns, located in Cashton, helping us out today, and Cade Clearing. What a terrific job they continue to do. Brett and Riley Cade, of course. Pounds. 120 pounds. 120 pounds, this is going to be Noah Klum. Klum going to 120, must have weighed in at 120 as well. 
And I believe they said his opponent was Sawyer Ostrom. We'll check that out in a second. Ostrom's going to pick up the takedown. Well, there's the pin, a 53-second pin time. And just like that, it's going to be 9-6, your team score. All right. Going to move to 126 pounds. Roger Harris set to announce here. Fletcher. Brock from the Kusa Assumption taking on Clayton Geyer. His name not on the uh, lineup, but he's been practicing. <laughs> he's going to pick up the first takedown here, and now he's going up after the uh, pin right away here, being very aggressive. Let's see if he can't pick up that fall. It's very close. There it is. He will get the pin in 31 seconds. At 126, Clayton Geyer. Thirty-one second fall here. Gonna get a forfeit win here now. Jacob Bertling picks up a a forfeit win, and it's 15 to 12 now. Well, let's see if we can get that uh, road down. Of all things, I broke my pencil. How about that? Brandon Whitland receives a forfeit, and now it's 18-15. Let's see what happens at 145 pounds. We're going to get a match. Thanks to Carmen Fortune, your New Directions real estate expert, bringing us action today. And uh, it's going to be at 145, Garrett Vatlin taking on Joseph Mitchell. Vatlin will pick up a quick snap and a takedown here. Out in front, two zip. Going right into that arm bar and a wrist, and he's going to get another tilt here. He is tough with that. Cashton Building Supply helping us out. Kevin Kirking and Courtney Cousy. Cashton Farm Supply, Ernie Peterson and his crew. Out there on Highway 27, Cashton. And Chaseburg Farmers Union Co-op as well, bringing you today's action. John Maslevichek and that team 
Over there in Chaseburg. Ballon picks up a two for a near fall. And check that he got a three for the near fall. And now he's really sunk in a deep reverse half. And he's very close for the fall once again. Trying to bridge out of here is Mitchell. That's a tough one. And there's the pin. A 121 pin time for Garrett Vatlin. One twenty one. And the Norsemen retake the lead now at twenty one eighteen. It's gonna go back and forth for sure, right? More of our sponsors. At 152, Westby's going to receive a forfeit. Twenty-seven eighteen now. That was Jacob Anderson who was at 152. And Westby's going to receive another forfeit here at 160. At 160 pounds, Jake Friedland of Westby receives the forfeit. 33-18. Well, Nakusa has 160, 170, and 182 open. Forfeit win coming out here. One seventy, Caston Compton gets the forfeit win. And we'll see who's going to be in at one uh, one eighty two. Might be a uh, no. Here we go. Let's see what we have. Nakusa will pick up a forfeit. So they did have somebody in at one uh, at one eighty two that will get the win. So thirty nine twenty four now. And now it's going to bring in uh, Ty Nottestead. And he's going to pick up a forfeit win. My goodness. That one, uh, they were actually supposed to have somebody here, but maybe Gunnar Cruz was the one who was down low. I'm not sure. At 82. They didn't put that on the dashboard, so I'm not 100% on that one. Thanks to Coon Valley Telecommunications, where you're watching today's broadcast. They're going to take, a, when they do finish up, uh, after the last match of the whatever dual meet is going on, <coughs> they'll take a 10-minute break. Well, we are going to get a match here, though. Andrew Wenzel, a sophomore, going to take on Evan Birklin, a freshman. This uh, looks like it will be our last match of the day, uh, well, of the morning here with uh, this particular dual meet. Westby does not have a heavyweight. <laughs> Berkland going to go in trying to get a single leg here. He's got that left leg, but a lot of weight being put on him. He's trying to drive in and see if he can't pick up that takedown on Andrew Wenzel. Wenzel is a sophomore. Now they... Nakusa assumption they have no record uh, for them. In fact, I guess neither team does, so they just didn't put the records in, which really doesn't matter. We just need to know who's wrestling. <laughs> Here's
Here's going to be a takedown by Winslow. And trying to come up and get a reversal here is Brooklyn. He does just that, and now he's got a half Nelson. He lets go of that half Nelson, just trying to get the body press. And getting back to the base is going to be Wenzel. And they're going to go out of bounds. So two reversal and two for the near fall. And Evan Birklin is out in front at 4-2. Looking to stand up here. Trying to cut through, and he does. Wenzel picks up the point for the escape. Little snap, and trying to get around behind. Able to do so. Bricklin now takes a 6-3 lead. On a good snap and spin. Wenzel... Maintaining the base here now, trying to work some hand control and see if he can uh, get back to his feet. He stands up. Berklin goes down, drops in on that ankle, not able to hold on to it, and he'll release Winslow, and it's now 6-4. Down to 10 seconds here in period number one. End of the period, we'll stay at 6-4, and we'll take a look at the choice. It's going to be Nakusa, and he says neutral. He'd rather stay on his feet. Both wrestlers have a takedown to their credit right now. Locking up, oh, a front headlock. Oh, he went right into a near side cradle, did Birkland. And he has got that pretty tight right now. Bit of an awkward position for him, but if he can readjust, and he does, he's going to let go of that cradle. Now he's just going to go into that, trying to get that arm and come into a reverse half Nelson. He has it locked up. Getting close to the fall here is Evan Birkland. And there it is. A 2.49 pin time for the young man. 2.49 pin time. Well, that will push the score to 51-24. And uh, getting a forfeit win here. Dashi, or maybe it's Dashi. Dashi Storley will pick up the forfeit win here for Nakusa. And your final score will read 51-30. 51-30, the final score here for the Westby Norseman picking up the win. Here in match number one. Well, let's uh, take a little break here. There's a break here on the mat as well. And we're going to focus in on the Belmont-Platteville-Brookwood match. But congratulations once again. Wants to be coming up with the win, 51-30 over Nakusa Assumption.
We're going to come back here to mat number one, I guess we're going to call it. And uh, it says 152 with uh, Kim Spensley. Spensley taking on Carter Arbuckle, sophomore here for Brookwood. Falcons here once again. No score. Arbuckle's going to go in, trying to pick up a single leg, and Spensley is able to fight that off. Now Spensley drops in, trying to look for the double leg, and Arbuckle putting some pressure on, trying to get that front headlock kind of series going here. Spensley has that arm locked up, though. Back to the center they go. Good single leg shot there by Arbuckle. Trying to finish that one. He switched off to a bit of a double and a quick switch, standing switch by Spensley gets the two. Well, that's good chain rustling right there. End of the period, 2 nothing lead here. Arbuckle will defer. Looking for that switch once again is Spensley. Cam nearly picked that one up and a good re-switch here by Arbuckle. And Spensley hits the switch and he's now out in front 4-0. Well, I'm not sure uh, what the... Uh, Next match matchup is going to be as far as team wise. We'll just have to listen in. This is a pinning combination and there's the fall. Spensley coming back and uh, tell you what in a close first period. Spensley was out in front seven zip when he came up with the win via the pin. Thirty four eleven year score now Platteville out in front. One sixteen. Belmont Plaville does not have anybody apparently. Brookwood will bring out their wrestler. Gomez will pick up the victory with the pin or uh, with the uh, forfeit win. That's just like a pin. Six points there. Now Brookwood will come out here at one hundred and. 70 pounds, I thought they heard him say. They got 160 on the board, so. <laughs> Kubi will pick up the win. We moved to 182 pounds. Brookwood without a wrestler at 182. So Belmont Plotville will pick up the win. Caden Davis with the forfeit win. One ninety five. 
Trenton Paulson picks up the win. A freshman. And we go to 220. Vistrasil will pick up the win, another freshman. And here you have uh, Porter Mondorano of uh, Belmont Plaville. I tell you what, this young man, uh, he's a good one. He's a senior now. He's going to be taking on Barulo Rodriguez. Mondorano is uh, he's he's one of those wrestlers that's heavily thought of down in that southwest part of Wisconsin, and there's some good heavyweights out there. He's going to get a snap and a takedown here, and back up on his feet once again. A little short arm drag, picking up the two. High single leg lift. Now he's going to work in a pinning combination here. Walking things over here with that arm bar and the wrist and picking up the pin. Picking up the pin in 50 seconds time. And that will take care of business here for the Belmont Platteville Brookwood dual meet. And the final score there is going to read 52 to 23. 58, excuse me, 58 to 23 as they tack on the six points there. Well, we're going to take a break here. Uh, they're going to have some uh, exhibition type matches going on. They are going to have, uh, they're going to do that one right now. Two uh, 285 pounders. Each team had an extra. Grayson Stebbins from Brookwood. And uh, we'll see if he's going to be wrestling. I don't know if it's going to be maybe Xander Hines, possibly. We'll wait and see. Next match will, next dual meet series, round two, will start at 10 o'clock. So we're going to finish this match up and then get things going at 10 o'clock. I think both these wrestlers are freshmen here. They're going to lock up uh, on the head. A little bit of an underhook series here by Belmont Platteville. Stebbins able to work away from that. No circle around here, right on the uh, black portion of the map. Look to see if uh, maybe one of the wrestlers would try a, a quick snap down here.
Well, for some reason, the clock, <laughs> the clock uh, stopped at a minute nine. It just wasn't working, but Timmy Jokes is out there with the stopwatch, and she's Johnny on the spot here, or in this case, Timmy on the spot. Good for her. Choice is going to go to Belmont Platteville. Or check that. I think it was Stebbins, actually. He chose top. Well, a caution here going to uh, Stebbins as he didn't put his hand behind the elbow, and now he'll do that. That's, that's easy to have happen when you're inexperienced. This is his first year of wrestling for Brookwood as a freshman. I just think that's a pretty good deal, showing some courage getting out there and trying some things, try something a little different. Trying to break him down, Stebbins able to reach back, grab that left ankle, but uh, Hines, and I, I think it's Hines, able to get his arm back and leg back. Now standing up, trying to tripod up and out, and he will get the escape. There's a uh, takedown for Belmont Platteville. Might be looking for a cross face series here. Breaking Stebbins down to the mat. Trying to dig out an arm here. Nearly got a half Nelson. Grayson able to get back to his base. Now coming in with another half Nelson is Hines. And there's the fall. Well, they'll have to fix that clock over here on mat number one. As that will take the uh, final matchup here between Belmont Platteville and Brookwood. They'll shake hands. And we'll take a break here with uh, more action coming up here beginning at 10 o'clock. So a 15-minute break. And then they're going to get things going again. Well, let's, uh, I'm going to take that back because look at here. Going to get a, another exhibition match. This is going to be Kylie Klum. She's going to be taking on uh, Isabel uh, Brayton or Bratton, I believe. So we'll keep an eye on that one. Out of bounds they go. Oh, nearly got a uh, illegal headlock here, but Clum is able to get the takedown. Again, we'll start uh, the next dual meet. It'll be Westby and Brookwood, it sounds like. And Nakusa and Belmont Platteville. They'll be on the red mat. Westby will be on the black mat the whole day, from what I've been told, which makes sense. Well, neither uh, clock going right now. Probably because it's a exhibition match, I would imagine. That's probably what they're doing. Here's a tempted shot. Clum now spinning around behind. She'll get the takedown. Trying to lock up that cradle, going with a far side cradle. Not able to get the turn or the lockup for that matter. Now it goes right into a half Nelson. And Brayton, uh, boy, I tell you what, she did a great job of just uh, spinning right through. She rolled right through that 
potential pinning combination. And we'll go back. Time runs out. They'll go back to the center here. Flip of the disc. 4 nothing lead. Or is it 4-1? They don't have the score on the board here since it's exhibition. Clum's choice, and she says, uh, I'll go down here to begin period number two. Locked hands on Brayton. So the point for the locked hands and a two for the reversal. And now Clum picking up some back points here. Got the half Nelson in, and there's the fall. In the second period, Kylie Klum picking up the win. Now we can officially say we'll take a break. We'll do that, and uh, we'll come back here in just a few moments. 10 o'clock start, round two. <laughs> 